Hey everybody, I'm Bro Daddy, aka Patrick, and welcome. Welcome to Bro Daddy TV Studio, because you've made it. You've made it to my Blue Matte Review Moisture Meter. My, mo my Blue Matte Moisture Meter Review, and I'll tell you what, um, it's unbiased because I'm not sponsored by them, um, but I just want to give a review. I had a tough time finding any information about these when I was looking. Um, I don't know what's out there these days, but if you're looking at a moisture meter and you're looking at the Blue Matte, I want you to, I want you to hear me out here, because I've had about a year on this, a couple grows, and I'll tell you what it is and what it does. Um, first of all, you have to fill this tube, you know, full of water. And this is kind of like a porcelain, maybe ceramic. And what it does is it's, it, it will, it will, it will suck water in, right? It's trying to suck water out of the soil, which, or is it going this way? No, it's trying to suck water out of this tube and it's creating the tension in here that's gonna give you the reading. And this is a tensiometer, so, and it reads in millibars. That's your measurement that you'll use. We're just gonna put, we're just gonna put the pamphlet the Blue Matte Moisture Meter came with, and it's gonna give you a rough idea of what millibars are and when to water when it says different millibars. And that, that pamphlet's right here. You can see it, it'll say, it says, what does it say? It says 10 to 40 and you're soaking wet, right? Millibars, and then 50 to 120, you're, 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 you're pretty wet. Um, and then 120 to 190, you might want to think about watering when it's in between those millibars because it's dry. And then now we go to 200, 300. You're looking at it right up here. It'll say it's severely dry. But I can tell you what, when that thing is completely empty, your millibars are like 800. I can tell you that much. And anyways, that, that's kind of a guesstimate. They don't really tell you that. And you're going to know it now. Um, this is kind of just a rough idea and this is the pamphlet you'll get in the box. The moisture meter was, I felt was really expensive, but I couldn't find anything else. And to be honest with you, um, you know, I learned about this moisture meter watching, I think a Mr. Grow It uh, podcast. And I'm positive that, but then I thought I caught him on one of his grows showing that he had, he, he bought one after this and he had one and I go, I have to have one. So I bought it and I paid a hundred dollars Canadian for this. Um, with shipping and everything, which is about $75 US. So that's probably what it would cost you in the US to get it. I've been using this for approximately uh, two grows. I don't know, about a year and some change. So I've had, I had a half a grow, a good half a grow with this, and then I've had a good, a good full grow with this to learn how to use this uh, uh, Blue Matte Moisture Meter. When my Blue Matte arrived, I was really, really surprised for a couple different reasons. One, Look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. It, it, see how big it is? It's just huge. So when it arrived, I first looked at it and go, okay, what am I gonna do with this thing? How's it gonna go into a plant and leave a big a pot and not leave a big old whole hole? So I can dip, and I go, no, that's probably not what it's about. It's not like one of these. This is what Miss Grow Daddy uses, you know, on house plants. And this is something you dip into and you get a rough estimate of, you know, the, the moisture you have in the soil. This is this would be much more accurate of a measurement and something you want when you're growing, you know, these medical plants. Is you're going to want a, a better measurement. And so, I immediately go, "What am I going to do?" Um, and then I immediately found out this is meant to go in a pot and stay there for the entire grow. And I'm going to have to order three more. And I did to have one for each plant because I have four plants. So I ordered four more. So I'm into it for four hundred dollars now. Thank you, Mr. Grow, Mr. Grow It, because I think this is, you know, I heard it on his podcast, this is his podcast, they were talking about these, and I said, hey, if they're talking about them, I'm going to get one. And I even think Mr. Grow It got one, you know, and I think I had to have it. So anyway, so I ended up with four of them, and I'm using them, and so far, I just love it. And I guess the big question is, um, is it helping in my grow? And I would have to say a moisture meter that is accurate would help anybody in their grow. I have found... Um, such transparency, you know, in the moisture, knowing what moisture is in my pot and being able to water differently. Now, I don't suggest using one of these for anything less than a seven gallon pot or seven gallon medium. It's just so big. I mean, you put it in a pot, this is going to take up half the pot. Look how big it is. And not to mention the smaller pots, like a five or three gallon that you might be growing in. Well, those are going to dry out fairly quickly. Uh, they're going to water. You're going to dry them out. You're not going to need. You're not going to want to keep moisture. You're going to want to. You're going to want to do dry back on those smaller pots. That's why they say when you're going to grow organically in soil, you probably want to go seven gallons or more because what you're able to do with this meter is you're able to leave things kind of moist. So so your or, your organic um, inputs are going to be able to get broken down easier because your um, what do you call it? Those uh, microbes are going to be alive. They're not gonna be in dormant state when they get, when the soil's dry. Like if you're doing dry back 
all, all those microbes and stuff, they'll get dormant and they'll kind of stop working. If you keep the soil moist, you're gonna have, uh, those things are gonna be alive, they're gonna be munching down and breaking down all your amendments, and just hopefully, like they did in my grow, they're gonna give me a lot of growth, a lot faster growth and a lot better growth. So that's, this has just been awesome, I love it. I also wanna talk about some things that this has helped me with in the grow. One is, when I get fungus gnats, you know, the, the best way that I have learned to get rid of fungus gnats is by doing dry back or drying out the soil. But in the past, I've done that, and I think I've created, um, you know, doing dry back, I've created some too much stress on my plants and maybe maybe gotten some hermine out of it. And what this has enabled me to do is do a dry back, but not take it completely dry, take it to like 25% um, moisture content in the soil and still do a dry back and, and get rid of my gnats and tame them down and get rid of them and, 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 and still not stress up my girls too much. Maybe create a little bit of stress, but uh, not the kind of stress I was doing before without a moisture meter. But I was in five gallon bags and I was picking them up and going, okay, it's light enough to water. Or what, waiting until they, waiting until they uh, you know, go over a little bit. Um, that's not the way to water. It's just not. You'll end up with, you'll end up with hermit plants and all kinds of stressed out plants. Don't water that way if you're going to do dry backs. I started when I got this when I got this moisture meter. It allowed me to water daily or skip a day, but it allowed me to know it was in the soil. So if I water like 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 just to give you a for instance or an example, I got, I, I use seven gallon pots, and for me when they're drinking water normally they're drinking approximately um, they're drinking approximately two quarts or two liters a day, which the pot will hold eight, you know, eight gallon, or excuse me, two gallons, which is eight liters or eight quarts. And well, I'll just, I'll, I'll look at, be able to look at my tensiometer and get an idea if they need two quarts or if they need a little less than two quarts or a little more than two quarts. I'll know the general reading to bring them up to 75% of the soil content. I don't, I don't water them for 100% content. I'm really watering them, you know, I found 75% content is, is where I've been watering and using this. Um, I would recommend one of these, these blue mat moisture meters so you know what's in your soil. And I'm recommending it for anybody that has at least seven gallon pot or bigger, or you know anything bigger than seven gallon, whether it be a hundred gallon or whatever for measurement purposes. Um, anything smaller? I don't think so. I think you should just go to an auto pot, get some other wiring. I don't know if this is really gonna do it for you. Thank you guys for coming by and checking out my review, uh, my uh, unbiased uh, review of the Blue Map Moisture Meter. I hope it works for you guys if you guys decide to buy it. And if you guys decide not to buy it, I hope you guys found one that works good in your grow and whatever you guys do. But just to kind of give you guys a clue what's going on here, I hope we did it today. Love you guys. Um, come check out the channel. Um, love you guys. I'm out. I'm out! It's huge. Yeah, Miss Grow Daddy uses it in her spare time. Yeah, this thing's huge. It barely fits up my. Head. This thing's so big. This thing's so big. I can barely get this tip through my. I can barely get this tip up to the here. This thing. This thing's so big. I can only get it to fit, like you know, up to here. This might intimidate you too. I'm intimidated by it. Any other questions? This thing's so big. It can. Uses me sometimes. <laughs>